So 5.2, part two, you are solving systems using the subtraction method. I give you different uh, steps here in order to take. You're going to write these equations in standard form first. Distribute the negative into the bottom equation. You're going to add like terms. One of the variables should be eliminated at that time. Then you're going to solve for the remaining variable. Once you solve for the first variable, you're going to substitute that value in for the variable in one of the original equations and solve for the remaining variable. Then you write your answer as an ordered pair. So if you look at the example that's done for you, you're given 3x plus 4y is equal to 9, and 3x minus 6y is equal to negative 11. Both of those x's have the same coefficient with the same sign. So in order to eliminate those x's, you have to subtract them, which means you are going to distribute that negative into the second equation and then combine like terms. So that 3x minus 6y is equal to negative 11 becomes negative 3x plus 6y is equal to positive 11. From there, the two x's are going to cancel. You have 4y plus 6y, which is 10y, and 9 plus 11, which is 20. You can divide each side by the 10 to get y by itself, and you have that y is 2. Now that you know what y is, you're, you can find for x. So you can use one of the original equations. It doesn't matter if it's the top or the bottom. When I did this, I chose the top one just because. Plugged the 2 in for y. I got 3x plus 4 times 2 is equal to 9. That 4 times 2 is 8. I subtract that 8 over. We get 3x is equal to 1, and x would equal 1 third. So since x is 1 third and y is 2, our ordered pair, that's our solution, is 1 third comma 2. In the example that's not done for us here, we have negative 2y is equal to 4x plus 3, and y is equal to 4x minus 9. In order to put this in standard form, we're going to have to move the 4x over on the top and the 4x over on the bottom. So we would subtract the 4x on top to get negative 4x minus 2y is equal to 3. On the bottom, we would subtract the 4x over to get negative 4x plus y is equal to negative 9. Our x's have the same exact coefficient in front of them with the same sign. So in order to simplify this or solve, we're going to subtract. So we're just going to rewrite this to where the top equation doesn't stay. So it's negative 4x minus 2y is equal to 3. The bottom equation, all of the signs are going to change since we distribute that negative in. So it's going to become a positive 4x, a negative y, and a positive 9. Now we will do the exact same thing that we did in part 1 and just add these. Your negative 4x plus 4x is 0x, so 0, they cancel out. The negative 2y minus y is negative 3y, and 3 plus 9 is 12. Divide each side by the negative 3 to get y by itself, and you get that y is negative 4. If y is equal to negative 4, you can choose one of the original equations and plug that in to solve for y. I'm going to use the bottom equation. So if we plug that negative 4 in to the bottom... We're going to have negative 4 is equal to 4x minus 9. I'm going to move our 9 over by adding it to both sides. That gives us 5 is equal to 4x. We divide each side by the 4, and that gives you x is equal to 5 fourths. Even if you did plug it into one of the standard form equations as well, you'd still get that x is 5 fourths. Okay, so with x being the 5 fourths, y equaling negative 4, your solution is the 5 fourths comma negative 4. In example A, we have 3x plus y is equal to 2, and x plus y is equal to negative 4. Because our y's have the same sign in front of them, we are going to subtract these two equations. That's going to give us 3x plus y is equal to 2, and negative x minus y is equal to positive 4. From here, we're just going to combine like terms or add them. We have 3x minus x, which is 2x, and y minus y, which cancels out, is equal to 2 plus 4, which is 6. We divide each side by the 2 to get x by itself, and we have that x is 3. Choose one of the original equations to plug that 3 in for x and solve for y. I'm going to use the bottom equation, so that's going to give us x, which is 3, plus y is equal to negative 4. 
Move your 3 over by subtracting it from both sides, and you get that y is equal to negative 7. Your x is 3, y is negative 7. That's the ordered pair, 3 comma negative 7. For example, b, you have negative 2x plus 4y is equal to negative 46, and negative 2x plus 3y is equal to negative 38. Your x's have the same coefficients, so we're going to subtract these. Again, I'm just going to rewrite the top to where you have the negative 2x plus 4y is equal to negative 46. The bottom becomes positive 2x minus 3y is equal to positive 38. We're going to add these since now our x coefficients are opposites. Your x's cancel. 4y minus 3y is just y. The negative 46 plus 38, they're different signs, so you're going to keep the sign in front of the bigger number, which is negative, and then subtract the two numbers. The 6 would turn into 16, making the 4 a 3, so it's just 16 minus 8, which is 8. So y is equal to negative 8. Take that negative 8, plug it into one of the original equations. I'm going to use the bottom one just because it's smaller numbers. We have negative 2x plus 3 times y, which is negative 8, is equal to to negative 38. Your 3 times negative 8 is negative 24, so that's negative 2x minus 24 is equal to negative 38. We're going to move the 24 over first by adding it to both sides. This gives us negative 2x is equal to a negative 14. From here, we are going to divide each side by negative 2, and that gives us an x of 7. So if y is equal to negative 8 and x is 7, we have the ordered pair 7, comma, negative 8. If we look at example C, we have 4x plus 2y is equal to 24, and 3, negative 3x three plus 2y is equal to 3. Your y's have the same coefficient. Same signs, so we're going to subtract these. This gives us 4x plus 2y is equal to 24, and positive 3x minus 2y is equal to negative 3. Now that our y's are opposites, we're just going to add the two equations like we did in part 1. The 4x plus 3x is 7x. 2y minus 2y cancels out. 24 minus 3 is 21. Divide each side by the 7 to get x by itself. You have x is equal to 3. From here, pick one of the two equations that you started with. I'm going to work with the bottom equation because I'm working with smaller numbers. I have negative 3 times x, which we said is positive 3, plus 2y is equal to 3. Negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9, plus 2y is equal to 3. We move our 9 over by adding it to both sides. We get 2y is equal to 12. And we divide each side by the 2. And we get that y is 6. So if x is 3 and y is 6, that gives us the ordered pair 3 comma 6. For example, d, we have negative 5x minus 3y is equal to negative 33. And 2x minus 3y is equal to 9. We are going to change the sign on everything in the bottom, so that way we can, we can have two coefficients that are opposites. I'm going to rewrite the top to just be the negative 5x minus 3y is equal to negative 33. Bottom is going to become negative 2x plus 3y is equal to negative 9. Now we add these since our y's are opposites. We're going to have negative 7x, our y's cancel, is equal to negative 33 plus negative 9, keep the signs. It's going to be negative. Add the two numbers. 3 and 9 is 12. Carry the 1. That's 42. So the negative 7x is going to divide by negative 7, not negative 2, negative 7. You're going to do the same thing with the negative 42, and that gives you an x of 6. If x is 6, plug it into one of the original equations, solve for y. I'm going to use the bottom one. Again, smaller numbers makes it easier. So that's 2 times x, which is 6, minus 3y is equal to 9. 2 times 6 is 12. Subtract your 12 over. 
that gives you negative 3y is equal to negative 3. Divide each side by the negative 3, and you get that y is positive 1. So if x is 6 and y is 1, that's 6 comma 1. That is your solution. For example, e, we have negative 5x plus 3y is equal to 45, and negative 5x minus 4y is equal to 10. Subtract these. That gives us negative 5x plus 3y is equal to 45, and positive 5x plus 4y is equal to negative 10. From here, add them. Your x's are going to cancel. You have 7y is equal to 35. Divide each side by the 7 to get y by itself, and you have that y is 5. Choose one of the original equations, doesn't matter which one it is, and solve for x. If we use the bottom one, we have negative 5x minus 4 times 5 is equal to 10. The negative 4 times 5 is negative 20, so that's negative 5x minus 20 is equal to 10. Add your 20 over. You have negative 5x is equal to 30. Then divide each side by the negative 5, and you get that x is negative 6. Your x is negative 6, your y is 5. That gives you the ordered pair, negative 6, 5. For our last example, we have negative 2 plus 9y is equal to 3x, and 4x minus 9y is equal to 22. For this top equation, you're going to want to move that 9y over by subtracting it from both sides. So that's going to give you 3x minus 9y is equal to negative 2, as well as 4x minus 9y is equal to 22. You have same signs, same coefficients for y, so you're going to want to subtract these two equations. So that's going to leave the top equation the same. Your bottom equation is going to become negative 4x plus 9y is equal to negative 22. From here, we will add the two equations. So your y's cancel. You're left with negative x is equal to negative 24. Move the negative over. Divide each side by negative 1. You get that x is positive 24. From here, I would pick the top equation and solve for y, just because, again, we're working with smaller numbers. We have negative 2 plus 9y is equal to 3 times x, which is 24. Multiply your 3 times 24. The negative 2 plus 9y is not going to change. 3 times 4 is 12. Carry the 1. 3 times 2 plus 1 is 7. So that's negative 2 plus 9y is equal to 72. From here, we're going to add the 2 over. And that gives you 9y is equal to 74. Lastly, we divide each side by the 9. You have that y is equal to 74 over 9. From here, you have an x of 24, a y of 74 over 9. So your solution is the ordered pair 24, comma, 74 over 9.